Welcome to the Marvelous Designer 2024 new feature videos. In this one, we will cover the new feature for puckering. Puckering refers to the tiny wrinkles in a garment that are caused by the difference in tension between fabric and thread, or where there are gathers present. As a result, you can see puckering wherever there is sewing or top stitching. Puckering is most visible on denim. Looking at denim garments on Connect, we can see a variety of puckering effects where there are stitches. Depending on the wash of the garment, the puckering can be strong or weak. Puckering is not limited to denim, but can be found on many garments. Although this puckering can also be achieved by increasing the particle distance of fabric to make it look more realistic, normal maps and textures can be used to create this look without modifying the pattern. Now let's take a look at the puckering feature. The puckering tool is located in the toolbar in the 2D window and can also be selected under materials in the main menu. Puckering, like top stitch, has a separate window to manage its style, which is selected in the window selection menu. You can toggle the generated puckering on and off in the display menu of both the 2D and the 3D windows. By default, when the puckering tool is selected in the 2D window, the puckering line is displayed in a purple color. Let's take a look at the puckering tool. In the 2D pattern toolbar, you will find the puckering tools grouped next to the top stitch tools. There are four tools, edit puckering, segment puckering, free puckering, and seamline puckering, just like the edit sewing tools. Let's use the puckering tools on a simple pattern. The file is linked at the bottom of the video in the description box. First, the segment puckering tool creates puckering on a single line segment. If you create puckering on top of a symmetric pattern, it will create puckering on both pattern pieces. The free puckering tool applies puckering along any line segment regardless of where the points are located. It starts with a click and ends with a click. Seamline puckering is generated on both sides of a sewing relationship by clicking on that sewing relationship, or the line. The Edit Puckering tool allows you to select puckering that you have created and make changes to it. Puckering cannot stack. Next, let's take a look at the properties of puckering. Create a segment puckering line on a pocket. When you select Puckering, the properties are available in the Property Editor. You can name the Puckering, choose a style, adjust and set Extend and Offset values. Extend is an option to extend the end of the generated Puckering from the pattern outline. If you turn off the Extend Start End setting in the Properties window, you will see that the Puckering is generated at right angles to the line segment. Offset is the distance that the puckering is from the line segment or the edge of the pattern. Z offset applies a Z offset to the texture of the puckering only, which can be useful if you are using puckering and an OBJ top stitch overlap. This is used to prevent the top stitch from covering the puckering. For seamline puckering, the object property has a placement. By default, it is created on both sides of the seam line when created, and can be adjusted with the A, B, and both options found in the placement menu. If you are creating puckering on an interior shape, you can switch to the other side of the interior object via flip menu in the object properties. Next, let's take a look at the puckering window. You can find the Puckering Window menu at the bottom of the Top Stitch window in the Windows Selection menu. It is organized the same as the other object windows. It has an Add, Copy, Assign, and Delete unused buttons at the top. The Edit Puckering tool allows you to use a pop-up menu when you right-click on a puckering line. Select all of them with the same properties, assign to New Puckering, and Delete. Select all with the same properties, select the object that uses the same puckering style. 
Assign to new puckering registers slash adds the selected puckering lines as the new default style. When you select a puckering style, the puckering style properties appear in the property editor. First, you can save and open the puckering style properties in a PTP file format. You can change the shape of the puckering with the cotton, denim, leather, nylon, and polyester menus under material. By default, the puckering is only a normal map, but you can add textures to it if you want. Textures with transparency allow for more variation in the look of the puckering. Like any other texture, the normal map menu allows you to remove the color via desaturation and normal maps can be adjusted with intensity. Color and opacity options only apply to the textures. In specification, density is the amount of denseness of the puckering, it represents the density. Width allows you to adjust the width of the puckering. Since puckering is often used in conjunction with top stitching, we will use it in parallel with the top stitching. There's a top stitch on the side of the body plate, let's add puckering to that top stitch. First, click the side with the segment puckering tool. Then in the puckering window, select the puckering style and increase the intensity of the normal map in the properties window. Notice how it sharpens. I wanted the puckering to be closer to the top stitch line than the default seam line, so I used the edit puckering tool to select the puckering line and adjust the offset value. I'm looking for a value of about two so that it slightly overlaps the top stitching. Again, in the puckering style properties, we will leave the material as it is because the fabric is Oxford cotton. To give it heavily washed look, let's add a texture. In the puckering style editor, click open the file button next to the texture. In the assets materials hardware and trims slash puckering path, select the cotton texture. Applying a texture like this gives it a more washed, whitened look. Reducing the density will make the puckering more dense, and you can also adjust the width with width. In the puckering window, you can see the puckering lines that have already been created to match the top stitching. Let's set the puckering for the collar and armhole lines. Select the double stitch puckering and use the segment puckering tool to create the puckering. Select the Created Puckering Objects property window and adjust the offset value so that the puckering starts at the first top stitch. And that is it for the puckering feature. Thank you for watching the intro to the puckering feature.